I want to show you guys how to wire up the TRD Pro V2 grill so it does this. That looks pretty awesome. A warning though, if you follow these directions and you mess your truck up, it's not my fault. Don't hop in the comments. Works good on my truck. It should work good on yours. But that's like that. Put a little warning in there. Let's hop into how I have this set up. To give some insight here, this is what the grill looks like with the daytime running lights on. You got this white strip right here and the Raptor lights are on. I also have it wired up to each side of the turn signals. I'll show you what that looks like. As you see, this is how it looks with the turn signals on as well. Now we're hopping on the wiring. Driver's side of trench truck, this wire here is our turn signal wire and this pink one is our daytime running lamp. For the grill, we're gonna tap into this for the daytime runners. This one for this side's turn signal. I already did the other side. I'm just showing you on this side because it's easier. We got these neat little clips that are gonna clip over the wire and snap it down. I'm not a big fan of these. I've seen them get corroded for like people using them for boat trailers to, to get into the lines and stuff. So I'm going to silicone them as we snap them together to seal out any water. So here we go, we're gonna silicone this. So when we smash it together, it seals out any potential moisture that could possibly get in there. Whether or not this is going to work perfectly, we'll find out, but uh, on paper it looks good. I'll start with what wires you need to tap into. We use these little T-taps here. I'll show you how we did that in a little bit. But you look here, the driver's side turn signal for the grill is this yellow wire. We tap that into the turn signal and the light down here. This is that like beige color right here. Then the daytime running lights we have tapped together and that is tapped down to the red wire right here. I guess it's pink and that'll run the daytime running lights. Show you that as best I can. To run the turn signal on the passenger side it is this blue wire right here for the grill and that connects to that very light blue color on the light on the passenger side. If you can see that I'm trying to show you as best I can there. It was a little bit tricky to get to, so we unbolted the windshield washer fluid right here, moved it out of the way just to give ourselves a little bit more room to get down in there. That's basically all the wiring we had to do. Pretty simple. I'll give you another little rough explanation here. So we tapped both the power wires together here, like that. So that runs the Raptor lights and the daytime running lights, so they turn on together to this one wire right here. We also tapped the ground in right here so we've tapped both grounds together for the raptor lights and for the side marker lights for the grill into that and then onto this ground right here and then you have the yellow going to that beige color right there that runs the turn signals for the driver's side then the blue runs the turn signals for the passenger side and it connects to that light blue color right there for on the headlights as you can see, it wasn't super hard to wire these up. The reason why I was so concerned about it is because that's up front, water's gonna hit it, and I don't want open wires in there, and I didn't want to just start cutting stuff and splicing them to my factory harness. Using those little T-slot, or I don't even know, T-connectors, I don't remember exactly what they're called. But using those, you're able just to crimp on there and make sure they're watertight. We use silicone just to fill them up, but I would recommend if you're gonna do this, to use some dielectric grease in there. I didn't have any, so we just like siliconed them up and make sure no water was gonna get into that connection. I feel pretty confident doing that, that no water's gonna get in there and mess up the wiring and corrode anything. We'll see as time goes on, but I feel pretty confident about the setup up there. The trickiest thing, honestly, about this grill was making sure that you didn't see any wires beyond there, because there's kind of a lot of wires. You have a wire for each one of these lights, and then you got wires for here, wires for here. So there's like a lot of wires back there. So it was kind of tricky to make sure you can't see it behind that big mesh, because the mesh here is pretty big and you can see right through it. I think I did pretty okay talking stuff so you can't really see it. Let me know in the comments if you like how this grill looks, if you don't like how it looks. I was really on the fence about these lights, but at night and just the way they look, they're really growing on me and I actually really like this grill. So that's why I kind of took the leap of faith and got it spliced into my factory harness. Down in the description, guys, I will have a link to everything in the video, the grill, the connectors, some dielectric grease. So you can just hop right in this and do exactly what I did if you want your truck to look like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 10,000. We're so close. Not really, but we're going to get there. Check out this video right here. It's pretty good. 
I'll see you in the next one.